Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And Mr. Day, I never knew you had history in you and you did so much research of the Turkish people, of the Turkic people. Um, and this was a very educational one. I think it was, we all benefited from your research because most of the times we are told we are the educated ones and they in the East are the ignorant ones. And you have laid the myth to rest. Um, having chaired Canada Azerbaijan and, and being a member of the Canada Turkish Parliamentary Friendship Group and having visited Turkey and Azerbaijan and some other Turkish uh, Turkic nations, I think it is just befitting what Mr. Day said, that we need to understand, I'm sure I'm speaking to the converted anyway, but we need to understand the contribution that those nations have made to our civilization and our growth. Um, having worked with IDI and Anatolia Heritage for over, oh, what, 10 years? Um, and having invited you guys to my house for iftar and just have, my house was run over by all Turkish nationalities here. Um, it, it is so, it's, it's my pleasure to be here. It's my pleasure to uh, be among friends and to, un, uh, to ensure that we keep on building bridges because together we can create a very powerful economic force and a force for good as Fateli Gulen has talked about the good overriding evil. And with that, I'd like to invite you to an exhibition at the Aga Khan Museum on Istanbul. You will see the city and you will realize how magnificent the architectural contribution was. There was one on the Silk Road, um, and the Silk Road has been the one that created so much opportunities for the movement of people. So not only are the Turkish people in China, but in Hunza and Turkmenistan, etc. So thank you for having me, and good luck with your conference. Thank you.